4,400. And 40 pounds. This is a Rockwood Rue 23SS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. One owner. We sold it to the original owners. They enjoyed it, used it, took very good care of it for several years before they decided to swap up into a fully enclosed J Flight bunkhouse. Overall, I think you're going to be very happy with what you see here. One quick note um, I do notice that their original hitching is sitting in the front of this. That generally indicates that this hitching is intended to go with this camper. That would be a little more of an ideal situation for you first timers who maybe you're swapping up from a uh, pop-up even, but you're getting your first travel trailer and you need that extra stuff. But I don't have confirmation of that at this time. I simply wanted to set a good clear expectation. So if that's something you're curious about, please, please call and ask ahead before visiting. It could simply be that we are swapping that hitch over to the owner's new trailer and that is not included. I don't know. I just want you to know what you're getting into. I believe that lying by omission is still lying and I take no part in it. Overall, she appears to be pretty well kept. The uh, whole RV, you might notice, is carpetless. There's no heat vents in the floor, so it's very easy cleaning, especially in a hybrid like this where you tend to have a lot of people coming and going. But what's nice, you know, hybrid beds, they lose a lot of the um, the heating and, uh, and cooling just pours right out of those bed ends. So the fact that Rockwood applied a more efficient centralized air system here to help keep that cool air distributed through the RV, and it, what that'll do is it'll help keep more than just the middle of the camper cool, it'll help keep the whole RV much cooler. And it does look and feel bigger in here because it has a mini vaulted ceiling. It's got about a two inch vault to it so that it just, it opens it up and you don't feel quite so claustrophobic. Now both here and in the bathroom, you'll find fantastic fans so you can get that good airflow going. And that's especially impactful if you zip down the uh, the privacy shades on uh, the front and rear queen bed, 60 by 80 queen bed, by the way, hybrid bed ends, you can just get some amazing airflow pumping through this thing. Cross breeze no matter what direction the wind's coming from. All the original electronics are here and pre present and accounted for. And if I can get a good angle on it, there we go, too much backlighting from that hybrid bed. We've got our Bluetooth DVD player below, handy little phone charge station, and that TV can actually dismount and remount outside. Now below each of the bed ends, there's like a bench, and it sort of doubles as outside storage. And then this is kind of cute. I think the previous owners brought this in. They left behind their little mascot, the kangaroo, because it's a Rockwood Roo. I'm sure you would assume that its name is either Joey or Bruce, but I noticed it was made in China, so I believe its name is Lin Fei. Uh, so, you know, Ni Hao, my friendly little Chinese kangaroo. I'm way off script at this point. This is just me humoring myself. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Over here, we've got a very classic, lightweight sofa galley slide, which is old marine terms for, you know, kitchen and seating area. And it actually includes, like, you see this vertical pantry space over here? That's actually built onto the slide out itself. So the entire kitchen slides open and closed. And something that's easy to miss is how much counter space is actually here. If you're staring it in the face, you miss it. But if you get back here, you see how there's like that extra 12 inches of counter space behind the sink and the stove? And there's some household outlets back in that corner. Well, that's a perfect place for like appliances, toasters, blenders, useful stuff so that you're not using up your counter space. Now you might notice that power cord dangling across that window. Previous owners added a, uh, a household powered light fixture right there just for a little bit of extra lighting. And you might notice how that actually snakes up under uh, the sofa overhead cabinet as well. So they added a lot of lights into that slide that weren't there previously. Down below, a little bit of space for some, you know, your dish soaps and whatnot, plus a couple handy drawers. But what a sofa galley slide does for us, and it's kind of sad because you just don't see it much anymore, is it puts the dinette over here on the campsite. And that means that we've got a nice viewing window right over here on the campsite. The trick is, for some reason, this sofa and dinette arrangement, this living room has kind of fallen out of favor in the RV business. Almost every single person agrees they would rather have windows on the campsite, but they don't tend to buy RVs that way in this size. They prefer the deeper slides that you get with a sofa and a dinette in the slide. So this is kind of, this is something that's become hard to find and, and very highly sought after by those who have had RVs before and know what they're looking for. Now a nice little rockwood touch. We've got these hardwood cabinet doors here. This is the cherry trim that they had for a couple years. You've got double overhead door struts. Uh, to make getting in and out of that pocket screw cabinetry much, much simpler and easier. Now, the other thing here, 
They just, they, they didn't just put a dinette. They put a big seven foot true U dinette on this thing with a free floating table. You could fold that down into a sleeper and there's storage underneath it. And this entire dinette has an aluminum skeleton. It's just one of those crazy things that Rockwood does. Now, um, I noticed on my note sheet that uh, the manager gave me, he said, you know, we detected a small soft spot in the floor near the bathroom. I, I can't find it. I've walked all over this thing, and I'm, I'm, I wear, because I'm on my feet all the time, I wear very nice, like, running shoes, so that, uh, you know, I, I'm taking some of the extra stress off my joints and stuff, so it's possible the squish that I'm feeling in my shoes is masking whatever is here, but I'm pretty good at spotting stuff like that. If I can't find it, but I'm told it's there, it's got to be pretty darn minor. That or, again, it could just be my shoes. I don't know, but the point is... Evidently, there's a small soft spot on the floor. It's not from water damage. It's just from heavy traction use on a laminated floor. Um, that's something that you don't see on Rockwoods anymore because they don't use laminated flooring anymore. And down here, that's our converter box at home. You call it your fuse box. That little silver plunger is a simple battery disconnect so that your batteries aren't getting trickle-drained in transit. But back here, this is awesome. This thing has this huge additional dresser and closet space. And storage like that is the kind of stuff most hybrids just dream of having. And a nice little Rockwood touch. The rear bed doesn't get any sort of evening entertainment. So they include around the corner an extra set of TV hookups. So if you want to kind of use the rear bed for the kiddos and you need something to help put them down at night, you have it. Because the front bed, you can just twist the TV around to get to see it. Just like the living room, like I said, you got a fantastic vent fan back here with those roof vent covers on both vents. We'll see those outside. Uh, the vaulted ceiling plus the skylight against the wall makes this pretty friendly. If you're like me and you're 6'2-ish, you'll be pretty comfortable in the shower. Protective shower surround paneling, and it is just a simple uh, shower pan, not a travel trailer tub. And that is a big sink, Batman. Great googly moogly. This thing is clean outside. It has been just, you know, well-kept, washed, conditioned regularly. The skin is gleaming. The decals aren't peeled and faded. The bed ends are not all you know, snagged up and spotty. You're not gonna see any sort of like mold spots here where they put this thing away, wet or anything like that. And what's nice is this is an easy setup bed end. You can see how the bed stuff all C channels right into the hardware. And they have an easy reach uh, handle system here for those pressure locks on those hybrid beds so that you don't have to be real tall like me. And even at my height, I have to be on my toes to reach some of these hybrid bed latches, but not on these Rockwoods. They were the first to do that. A lot of brands have since adopted what they're doing here. We've got a power awning. We've got a power tongue jack. And you can see the previous owners also added that protective slide awning on there to help keep the extra sun from baking the slide and to keep the dirt and debris from piling up on there. So it's just less cleaning, less maintenance. Uh, this has a four-wheel independent torsion axle and suspension system. And if you don't know what any of that means, there's two types of suspensions. There's this, and then there's a leaf spring. And the key difference between these, because this is the more expensive of the two, is that if you are whipping around a corner at high speeds, like let's say, you know those curly Q uh, highway exits, the ones that make you like seasick, this will help keep the trailer flat and level as opposed to trying to pull, and, uh, pull you off the road. Because the last thing you want is for that thing to start leaning and body rolling and making you uncomfortable. You'll notice that above the living room max air fan, or fantastic fan as it was in this generation, and the bathroom fan, you've got the roof vent covers, so that, you know, even on a, like today it's been kind of drizzly, off and on, doesn't matter. You can leave those vents open, no big deal. Spare tires under a hard shell cover, so it's never seen the light of day. This has a side mount grill uh, station. However, I do not find the original RVQ grill here. So that is one of those things that I don't believe is going to be included with this trailer within the used marketplace. The TV inside can dismount, remount out here, hook up down there next to our grill, all located right under that power awning so that, I mean, it doesn't matter even if it is drizzly, you're not stuck with cooking inside and generating a lot of extra heat in the RV. You can take that extra heat, humidity, those smells, from cooking, you can bring them outside. This is pretty sharp, guys. I don't see anything that's like, I just don't think you gotta be real concerned with what you see here overall. She looks good. So give us a call. Let's get this thing out of here. I don't see Rockwood, used Rockwoods just, they're, they just don't last, you know? And I, what I mean by that is not like they fall apart. What I mean is, as soon as you see a high level product like a Rockwood in the used market, it seems like everybody and their brother's fighting over it, you know? 
So if it's something you're interested in, give us a call, get a hold placed on it, and then come see it. We'll pull it up to the building, we'll plug it in, we'll make sure that everything works for you before you make it official. And if at any point you're not happy with what you see, no, no harm, no foul, we'll roll that hold right back into your wallet and you guys just go right back about your day. No sweat. Short of that, we do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything between. And occasionally, we've been known to make an RV video or two. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.